one on the subway. I know, I'm on the streetcar. I'm yes, watching the street I'm car. watching. They Too many talk shots about, they fired. I thought, oh, 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 when I was young, I was in all the faces. I got shot in the sun. I was armed. They were armed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But when I was a bouncer in the bar, I had to kill people out. That was my job. These guys were supposed to put a hand to hand combat, out of the sun, someone with a gun, and with a knife. They were just flying back like that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. Because of what the police are doing. Whoa, watch it. There's zero police presence here, folks, for obvious reasons. I got it. Thank you. Well, Thank <laughs> you. 
Trying to rain like mad on cue. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Yar.
Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Isn't this disgusting, Zach? Justice for Sammy. How are you doing? Changer, hey, Occupy, you? Toronto live stream. Good to yeah. see you live streaming. How are you doing, Zach? Really awesome. What do you think of all this? I think that uh, this is not just for Sammy. This is for Tara Gardner and all the people the police need to see. So uh, this is just the beginning of a, an awakening right here. Trayvon Martin, uh, Toronto police. This is what police do. Now, typical of Toronto police in this situation, they're more concerned with cars and traffic flowing than uh, protesters. So, be expecting. It's typical. I know in this situation they might not, they might break from the norm, but Toronto police is notorious for really throwing their bikes at people's legs because it's more important the traffic flows than we are able to protest. So uh, I've seen two cops and we'll see. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, Amazon. Hi, darling. How you doing? What brings you guys out there? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Have a laptop. We'll travel. We want justice. We want justice. I don't know what all these stickers mean out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> got some holders on there. Uh-huh. Oh, You made it out. No we need no live stream. No more killing. 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 No more What channel are you live streaming on? I'm not live streaming, I'm just taping. Okay, with your iPad. Okay. How can I do the live stream? How can I do the live You're not allowed to make it! 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 You're not allowed to make it!
Justice. Yar. No justice, no peace. We want justice. 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 We want. We want. We want. We want. One moment of silence. Moment of silence, folks. We want. Mm. Yeah. I already noticed the uh, three studios uh, agent provocateurs are here. They're here in full force. We want justice. 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 I can't hear anything. It's really low volume wise. So I'm dialed in. Okay. But I can't hear. She's dialed in, but it's very low. I will definitely queue if you want me to, sure. Remember, we have an eight second delay. No more guns! 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 Watch your neck, watch your watch your watch your watch your
Live. I nice, 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 nice. The nice. whole thing. But our arch enemy, the mainstream media, gets in my way always. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 30 seconds. I'm going to get all three hours, four hours. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. That's his mom. And his mom is right there. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame, shame. 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 Who's responsible? Trigger happy, eh? Trigger happy, eh, boys? Trigger happy, eh? Killing kids, eh? Think you're brave, eh? Tase the guy when he's down, eh? Fucking brave, eh? Shame! 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 You guys are all responsible, not just the shooter, boys. Ten of you guys there. Nobody does nothing, eh? Little talk to guys. You need to make a gang out there, eh? The government's gang. So bad, eh? So bad. Not so bad anymore, boys. Shame. Oh, no, leave her, leave her. Watch it. Sorry. Don't shoot, it's just a nail clipper. Don't ah, They're more concerned about traffic control than protecting the protesters. Typical Toronto police action. Cars are more important than people. Look at how they're blocking the street. Typical. And they love jamming their bikes on people's legs. They've done that to me enough times. So traffic is more important. This is what they're doing. Look. Corralling a thousand people and it's growing every moment. Look at this. It's a joke. Hi, Patty. I hope you feel better. Yeah, 
Crystal! We want justice! 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 We want justice!
I predict uh, this is going to be, uh, by the time this is done, a few hours from now, easily 10,000. Easily. It's already swelling to over 1,000 and it's increasing every moment. Yar. People just want something different. Change, maybe? Yep. What do you think of this, bro? What do you think of what happened to Sammy? I don't know what happened to him. I just feel the energy here, and I'm walking with it. I don't know the details of the story, but I feel bad for anyone who gets hurt. My respect to Sammy's family. Thank you, bro. That was hey. kind of you. People just want to change, man. That's it. They want something different. Different in the world. Look at how many people. They can feel something, man. They want something different. It's not irrational or crazy. Fuck, this is respectful. Everyone's calm and just walking. Peace out, bro. Okay, thank you, bro. This crowd for two blocks west of Bat of Dundas, and it's already as far two blocks long. Remember Z O O W U U at Gmail. Send me send me the footage if you can. Zubu at gmail.com. Occupy Toronto live stream. Just Google that. That's where I'm live. Occupy Toronto live stream. Google it. Keeps cutting out on me, so I take five minute clips and then, you know, and fuck around, go to Ustream, go to this other one I have, and then I'll put them there. Yeah, man, we got a nice walk from here. I live over that way. 
So uh, some people are not coming. They're worried. They think it's going to turn into something violent. What do you think? Maybe ah. 10,000 people and then some. So much media. Oh, get in the way. I know. Media is too much overkill. Yeah. He's 18 years old. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we're coming up to 52 Division uh, Police Station. They're not the ones that did the killing. 14 Division, which apparently after we go to Bellwoods and Dundas, which we're on Dundas heading west, uh, we're going to go to 14 Division. But coming up is 52 Division, who are just as nasty. Um, my name is B. Shanger. I'm a modern live stream director here at Occupy Toronto Live Stream. Killed on one of these model streetcars. The 505 route. And here is 52 Division. Wow, this is, I'd say, a couple thousand already. It's going to mushroom. Mushroom to at least 10,000 the way it's going. There's a lot of people who are waiting at Bell of Woods and Dundas. Go, 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 go
Wired up to hop over. I can't hop can't over. Idiots. Stupid designs. Okay. It's okay. I'm tethered to my phone, so I can't even hand this off. It's okay. I think this is two divisions more nasty than 14. You know that police officer who suspended with pay. He's not from 52, he's from 14, 1 4. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Ah. Holy moly. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh yeah, here. Oh, they got all the racists. These are the, the these are the cops that like to beat up on people. Shit! 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 
fucking stations in town. These fuckers are taking the beach. This fucking guy will take you to the beach. You know? These guys will take you for a ride to the beach. These are the fuckers that want to go for a ride to the beach. You want to go for a ride to the beach now? Let's go for a ride to the beach. Let's go for a ride to the beach. Come on. Yeah. 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 Division and Master Bunch. Sergeant said, let's get in front of them. We're going to take care of these fuckers. That's, uh, if you didn't hear that, Sergeant, he said, let's get in front of them. We're going to take care of these fuckers. So, uh, yeah, these cops are now uh, all pumped up. And it's going to get nasty. Oh, this guy almost missed me. Okay, you again. It's going to get... Uh, this is a peaceful... Folks, this is a peaceful demonstration these cops now are pumped up you heard that sergeant let's get in front of these fuckers and um, so this is a peaceful everybody here is but of course there's those black block of course there's those Asian provocateurs and these cops are about to get nasty I've 
tangled with 52 Division. I've been assaulted by them many times. My signal's been jammed. Uh, so if my signal gets jammed again today, because once when they get riled up like this, it's incredible. This is nonviolent. So with all those cops, you think they're concerned about traffic control now? No, no, no. The Toronto Police Services is a bunch of malakas. Yeah. Hey, good. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, Toronto Police Services, you are paid by the residents. They got the goon squad out. So many of these cops are violent. I've known them so well. There's one. Oh yeah, this guy's a nasty guy. Justice! 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 Justice!
It's the Lime Sister! Yar! Yar! Loretta? I am not know. Look at how many are there. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're about 20 minutes away from where the shooting happened. We're walking west on Dundas. And we have the whole street. We're coming up to a very major intersection, Spadina, Chinatown. Oh, you dropped something.
Yeah. Yeah. Good, how are you doing, Shirley? Not bad. What do you think of all this? I'm glad that there's a good turn on. Yes. No justice, no peace. Film the police. people they kill innocent chihuahuas justice for pd day is coming justice for pd a one-year-old chihuahua an innocent person 18 year old fuck the police <laughs> Okay, we're about 15 minutes away. Captain, good. How you doing? I'm good. Too little justice. Too many cops. Too little justice. Too many cops. Too little justice. Too many cops. Nice Confederacy flag. Yeah, I washed all the flags today. Nice. That's why they look the way they do, man. Fade it out. How are you, Captain? Good. I was gonna try and leave you a message. Well, oh, I figured. Oh, sorry, Captain, but I figured as much you'd be here. Yeah. All right. The fucking guy that was giving me a hard time. Little no fucking curry burger, motherfucker. Yeah. I told him, fuck around with me. Don't be fucking rude to me. I'll show you what he's saying. Oh. Oh. 
Stand like this. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Get the person to just drag off front. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Step two We're gonna stay behind the line. Everybody, walk behind the line. This is the official line. We're gonna walk together. We're gonna stay unified. This is just about justice. justice. This is about peace. Justice for Sammy. Justice for Sammy. Thank you, sister. Justice for Sammy. 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 What do you think of this? Justice! You're live to the world. What do you think of this? This is disgusting a travesty of justice for everyday people. We need protection. We need social justice and rights. We need to live without fear. This is Canada. This is Toronto, the most multicultural city in North America. I'm live to the world, sister. Shame on the cops. 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 Shame on the cops! Shame on the cops! Shame on the cops! Open this for me. Okay, buddy. Grab a few more for yourself. Yeah. 
For those that know Toronto, we're at Bathurst. We're five minutes away from where he was murdered. North, I'm back. <laughs> Five minutes away from where he was murdered. And there's a lot of people waiting for us there. Occupy Toronto live stream, live to the world. Occupy Toronto live stream. Just Google it. First thing that comes up is us. We shut up. We shut up. I'm done with that. I don't know if you want to finish that first. How does it feel to He's be the world here. piece of shit? Okay, okay. No, not. How does it feel to broadcast your number one fan, the captain? You are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put the whole fucking court case together against him. 
Okay. Go back to the station. Get out of here. Okay, we're normally a minute walk from where it all happened at Bellwoods and Dundas West. Police is the police. The watchers. Oh, 
Changing batteries, folks, uh, should be fine. We should not go down. The switching batteries, we're plugging in the external power supply. Okay, battery successfully changed. Beautiful. What happens when you have an external power supply? Okay. Change battery just in time. We are now. Holy moly! Three thousand people. We are at the spot, folks. Here we go. See that corner there? This is where it happened. Right here. Excuse me, watch it. Excuse me, excuse me. Video, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. So this is the camera angle. 
Twitter, okay. Media, please. Always. Cameraman was facing, was that way, facing here. If you remember that sign there? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Their demonstration there before continuing on to the scene, and uh, it is quieted down right now. The chanting is building up a little bit again, but you can see the signs back there. The license is not a license to murder. Police should not be above the law. This is shot earlier of the team's mom who we sit here with the march, and uh, many people have had shirts made up that say "Protect us from our protectors" as well. So it. Uh, it is a, an interesting scene right now. There has been no trouble there, which is a good thing. The police have maintained a, a distance, letting the protesters come down at Dundas, so no interference with that. Uh, there have been reports that they may go on to 14 Division from here, but we have no confirmation of that. And that uh, may happen in the next little while, so we will keep an eye on that. But for now, Gord, we'll uh, send it back to you. Thank you, John. Live stream, live stream. Can I get through, please? Live comments, comments. Sheriff! Sheriff! Sheriff, are you? Sheriff, are you? I have to fight back. I have to fight back. I give you promise. Yeah, hold it down. Hold it down for a second. Hold it down for a second. You guys fucking chicken. You guys fucking get the drunk. He's done that deal. He's talking. That's Sammy's mom there. Fuck off. Fuck off. Thank you, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry. We have to fight back. Moment of silence, please. Stay strong. Moment of silence, please. This guy's got a hundred of pictures on there. I still don't want to stop. Allow the family to just reminisce on the sun. 
What do you think of this, brother? Me? What do you think? I don't know, man. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad. I'm not. Nothing. Thank you. 
Toronto Police Chief Bill Blair spoke on the matter, saying that he too is concerned about what transpired earlier Saturday morning, hope, and that he will be doing an investig they will be doing an investigation into the matter. Now, I've spoken with a number of the protesters down here today, and they all say they are outraged by what happened down here, and that they are hoping that the chief officer who was involved is brought to justice. Now, the officer who is, ex is thought to have shot Sammy has been suspended with pay, so we'll have to stay tuned as to what happened. We want just <laughs> Crazy, eh? Justice for Sam! Justice for Sam! Justice for 
That's and after that, we're done. After Everybody that, we're done. done the protest. Thank you. We got it. 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 All right. Let's go. Hard. And after. All right. Let's go. Don't be too polite. Come on. This is about justice. Too polite. Come on. Let's go. Can everyone please be respectful? Too polite. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah, well, everybody, you guys get updates on the paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. She needs to leave the paper. Alright. We have to We should. Why go? Because that's the family. Because they think that they're going to win that way. Are you ready to lead us? You said you were going to lead us to Let's Go because the media is watching you across Canada. So lead us if you're leading us. Tell them. Tell her if they can come for his funeral. Yes. Exactly. That's very good. You guys can all come to the funeral. Yes. Yes. Tell us to come. Yeah. It will be on the Facebook page. Tell me, fight for justice. Okay. Yeah. You can't come for his you. funeral. Okay, great. That's important. Meet us. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's go. Justice for Canada. We love justice you. Justice for Canada. We love 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 you. Justice for Canada. 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 Justice for love. <laughs> yes, folks. Uh, I guess the rumor that we were going to have 14 division, which for those of you watching, that's what they call police stations here in Toronto. 14 division, uh, which is that away. We're walking west right now. Um, not that far. We have a 10 minute walk uh, as a crow flies. Uh, they're the ones, the one young officer. I will recount to you the timeline of what happened. Uh, and for a lot of you, um, but I'm going to do it when we get to the park. Okay. Uh, for a lot of you, it's new information. This is based on eyewitness um, people that I interviewed while um, the day after. But stay tuned for that when we get to the park. Trinity Bellwoods. That's shame. They make the road for the Yeah, 
John. John. What's the name of that song? That's an honor song. Nice. It's an honor song for Sammy. I don't know. Careful. We don't do anything about it. They're going to walk all over me. They're going to walk all over you. But just let me speak. Respect. We're going to solve your family too. Then you can go. We've lost family to these people. We've lost. Oh, this is the Binky, what the family wants. This is the family. This is what they want. Yeah, but we, we, we don't know I'm going to uh, for you to take this from us. I know. We're observing silence for the parents, for the mother of Sammy. We're observing silence. Please be respectful to the family that is here. We're waiting for everyone to get caught up, and we're going to observe a moment of silence. You better talk louder. I can't hear you. Mic check. We're observing a moment of silence for the family of the slain, for the family of the children that have been murdered by the Toronto Police Service.
just a few more moments while we wait for all the rest of the supporters who are here okay. to get caught up. Okay, hi everyone. Wait, let, just... Let's do mic check first. Yeah. Thank you. My check. My check. My check. Today we're here to support the family of Sammy. A young boy who was cut down too early in his life. By the people we pay to protect us. By the people we pay to protect us. Today we're here for every little boy in Toronto. For the ongoing fear that they have in their hearts for the police. For the ongoing love of the parents who have to bury them too early. Today we're here for every Sammy. For every mother who has to say, the only thing I want is my Sammy back. For every mother who has to say, the only thing I want is my Sammy back. Look around you, Toronto. Look around you, Toronto. Look around you, Toronto. Ask for accountability. Do not accept anything less. Ask for accountability. Do not accept anything less. Ask for justice. Do not ask for anything less. Do not stand for anything less. Justice is a right. Justice is a right. We demand it. We demand it. We demand nothing less from the Toronto Police Service. We demand nothing less from the Toronto Police Service. And each other. And each other. And each other. Each other. And each other. And each other. And each other. I have beside me the family who wants to say something to you all. Okay, we just, on behalf of Sarah, she does not want to talk. And, um, mic check. check. Mic check. Mic check. Is it going to be? 
do mic check until everybody can hear it. Mic check! 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 Talk at that level so that everybody can hear On behalf of Sarah, she does not want to speak. I just wanted to say on behalf of both of us, thank you so much for your support. It means so much to us and her family. And I also wanted to say on behalf of both of us, we're not here just for Sammy. We are here for every single helpless, innocent person that was brought to their death because of vast judgment. We just wanted to say, honestly, you have no idea how grateful we are for all your support. We are so thankful. We created this page for one reason and one reason, reason only, and that was to bring justice for not only Sammy, but for all those who have suffered similarly to him. And you know what? We are the generation. We are the future. We can make a change. Yeah. If we all come together, yeah. we can make a change. Yeah. It's key that we stick together as humanity. And honestly, like our page, Sammy's Fight for Justice, Sammy's Fight Back for Justice, we'll keep you updated. We will not rest until justice is served. Hey! Mic check. Mic We're not going to let this pass, are we? No! We just want to let you know that there's going to be one more demonstration. Yes. We're going yes. to Toronto Police Headquarters. Yes. Yes. Write this down, Facebook it, tweet it, August 13th, 1 p.m. The Toronto Police Services Board is meeting and we will be there. Yes. Okay, so does everyone remember the date? August 30. 1 o'clock! And, and the major Sammy Spike Back for Justice! Who knows where the Toronto Police Headquarters is? College and Bay! 1 p.m. August 13th! Thank you! Morning, College! All right, so I'm going to hand it over to the family. So yeah, just to conclude, what's the Facebook page name? Sammy! Fight for Justice! Sammy, fight back for justice! All the information will be posted there. Can everyone repeat it with me? What's the name of the Facebook page? Sammy, fight back for justice! Everyone's going to go home and do what? We'll like it! Share it! Yeah. And, and we will post all the information about our next events, the next one we're holding. Once again, thank you everyone. You're helping this family, like our family, do so much. And we'll end today in a chat. We'll end today in a chance and then a moment of silence. I'm trying to think of a good one. Um, uh, 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 no justice, no peace. 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 No justice, no peace.
Toronto live stream. I'm I'm Shanger. I'm Shanger. Yeah, man. Okay, we're off to 14 division. Rap 14 division, folks. Woo! Yeah, perfect, eh? So, what do you think of all this? The best. This is what's needed. We need this stuff. We need to demonstrate. We need to go up against whatever we have to go up against to uh, confront the issue. We can't sit back and relax. We have to confront the, the authorities that be. This is not a this is not a third world country. This is not a, a second world country. This is a first rate country, right? How yep. come we can't have our democracy? How come you know is this democracy? Is, is it a license to kill? Do pigs kill? Is that the question that we have to ask? Are they licensed to kill? Mm -hmm. No, we have to confront these issues, man. We cannot have we cannot have a police state. We cannot have a police dictatorship. So you know, hopefully today they learn quite a bit. Hopefully today this carries on that it doesn't die. That we do it again tomorrow, next week, or next month. But we always have to keep this alive for Sam, people like Sammy, and others that go missing and murdered. So yeah, thanks a lot, Changer. That was a good opportunity to talk, express me. Vent, vent, vent. It's good for the soul. We'll be talking pretty soon, eh? Good. Yeah. Pick a day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
This is a lot more people than I thought were coming. Oh yeah. Thousands. Yeah. 
For this Vice case, he's constantly pounding on us. He's a regular goon squad. This is the goon squad. Especially this detail. I've been assaulted by them enough times. You tell him, Gary. Democracy in action, folks. I love it. Fucker. That's an undercover, folks. NSA undercover. Bring out the killer! 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 Bring out
shoot it. A bunch of people like, oh, 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 he was only 18. You took a lot, young life. 18, Claire Thank <laughs> you. 
Estamos aquí en la afuera de la estación 14 de la policía de Toronto. Estamos este, recordando a un compañero eh, joven, se llamaba Sammy Yatin. Eh, él fue avaliado eh, en la calle de Toronto. Nueve, nueve balas, nueve balas le pusieron, lo cocinaron en balas. ¡Hijo de puta! ¡Hijo de puta! Hi there, how are you? Good, good, good. I like your That's awesome. Did you get that like cosmetic put on? Um, yeah, because I I lost one. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. Because I have a Maybe they can put that on. No, I use the whole thing. I like it. I love it. Can they put that on your head? That's awesome. It looks like a friend. It looks like, uh, a it looks like you know, something that people can have. Maybe? Justice for Sammy. Justice for Sammy. Justice for Sammy. Not cheap here, right? Not cheap. Oh, I don't think so. No, I've never seen it before. It looks really cool. Yeah, well, it's a, it's an old trail. It's, a, it's an old school fashion. Oh, I don't think it's, it's not done anymore. Now it's like a marble. What do you call it? Ceramic? They have like uh, all these chemicals in this kind of. Yeah. 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 Ye
A little bit more. We got cut off. Why? An undercover jammed my signal. We went down twice already. Already? That's Frank, Brother Wolf, jammed me the first time. And if I see her again, uh, she came by and just yanked my cable. Is that right? Yeah. Hey. So continue? Uh, yeah, um, we're here. I don't know. Uh, how long are we going to stay? I don't know. I have no idea. But. Uh, it's not a, it is a peaceful so far. <laughs> I think it's a piece of progress. Yeah. All we need, I think, to make us go, we need a name. We need the name of the, of the cop killer. We need a name. I need to know the name. So I can go peacefully. We don't have the name yet. Yeah. It's a young rookie, I, I heard. By eyewitness account. He worked here, right? Yeah. Young like, rookie. Yeah. He was popped up on something. His eyes were like, Whoa, uh, I do, I do. He's on some, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because um, he works, um, he moonlights, you know? Those guys uh, do the off duty thing, you know? Six hours and the day before. And they had to work like 12 hours again. They're fucked up. They got to stop doing the off duty uh, uh, time and a half job then, you know, yachting, you know? Watching over potholes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
because it seemed to me like an execution. Cops were ordered by brass to check out some people with cameras that were unauthorized. So, as live streamer, I'm providing a level of umbrella. Why do you want to go after these lovely folks? I have no idea. But I'm just here to protect these lovely folks, civilian journalists, against. Our arch enemy. Well, see, that sergeant was ordered by the brass, so so he can't do nothing while I'm alive. So we'll see. Serve and protect who? Excuse, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> They're killing 18 year old kids. That's right, 18 year old kids. Radium journalism at its finest. Yeah, they jammed my signal twice. Twice. Here. <laughs> I'm almost that undercover, uh, Brother Wolf. Uh, I hate the fucker. Frank. And the other was this other silent. woman. <laughs> they, yeah. they can't shut you up. No, no, I got back quick. You're editing already there, brother? Nice. Who did it? That's why I love filming faces with cops.
Honestly, I haven't given him much thought. Watch this, Very, very peaceful. There was a couple minor agent provocateurs, but people were on them nonviolently. There's that one guy that smashed someone's car window. Typical undercover agent provocateur. Um, twice I got like signal jam, DR14 division. That shows you how much they care about anything. They gunned down an 18-year-old youth. They jammed my signal twice. I told you at the beginning of this that don't be surprised. You think they wouldn't if they cared about PR, but no, twice, twice, here. So, and this is the scumbag of scumbag um, officers. Only 52 division is not school. And they're right downtown. That was the first one we were at. Looking for you. Hey, hi, PDB. Arana smokes. Hi, PDB. No. Let's go up to where mommy is, okay? 
Hey, look, there's John Rambo. All right. Thanks. I'll be back. The number of videos that have surfaced on YouTube of this incident. Yeah, I watched them. What do you make of, of how this has sort of unfolded based on the perspective of these videos? Well, it happened very fast, and I think that's what's unfortunate about it. As some people have uh, written and commented about the fellow being um, out west, you know, who um, hurt someone on the Greyhound bus. I mean, they, they closed the doors. They let him be there for five hours, and then they were able to arrest him. I mean, this, you know, I don't know why, you know, I don't know why he would be uh, shut up, just so kicky like that. <laughs> we know that he, based on witness accounts, was was carrying a weapon. Uh, the SIU confirmed to me on Saturday that they found a knife on board that streetcar. Uh, he appeared to have been a danger to the public. Yeah, and I'll tell you about the mental health system. My son has been in that predicament, and uh, after being restrained for eight hours straight, they let him go down the street again, and that's the problem. You know, who knows what kind of issues this young man has? I mean, even if he was drunk, but that's the only basis of children. And I'm just saying, the mental health system is so um, broken, and people need help. People want help. You know, we've spent many days, seven hours, in the emergency room, getting no help. 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 Anything to do with what happened on Saturday morning. It's only one of your questions uh, that will be answered in the Special Investigations Unit uh, investigation, which is underway. We got uh, some answers earlier today, uh, including information uh, that suggests that uh, the case was discharged that morning. Uh, something that we gathered from that video, but so it was unclear until today. But certainly a lot of questions that need to be answered, and the folks that are here today at 14 want those answers. Uh, but there is a general trust in the system and in, in the police, uh, in the police, and they're here to voice that to the statement of child pact too. I jump on that value of 1799, I'm right there. I'm obviously Just stare them down, they're talking about certain people in the park. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Which way are you heading, Captain? Excuse me. I'm just going to I do right now, too. I respect them right now. 
the dirty look and the flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, I respect them right now if they find the killer. Let me take a picture and show it to my kids how these crack out of cheap guys. Here's a crackhead fun. Okay, let me tell you something. Maybe it's not the police. Maybe it's just two racist people or one or two or three. Why don't we find them together and work together and bring the criminal off the street? Why don't we do that? If these aren't crack, we can still do blood tests and few other things, forensic units, and find the evidence and prosecute them easily. So, some of you officers, instead of standing around and get, getting paid like this, do something big so you can become somebody big like the chief player. We will support you. You will stand above everybody one day. Maybe even become... No, no. No, it's they can right. do this. No. You can get paid maybe $10 million. Why stand here and get paid 80000 or whatever you guys get paid? Why don't you find the killer and buy the respect? We will support you. Why don't you do something smart instead of going into violence? Why are you speaking to the friend? Why don't you speak to the people? We will let you speak. No, louder, louder, up. Alright, the five inch fucking blade. No, they can't get up louder. I don't know what procedures you guys have to follow. I'm not aware of everything, alright? We just want the questions answered and we want to be aware of what happened. Alright, that's it, guys, pretty much. Alright, there's been a lot of kids crying at home and a lot of people who Oh, they don't give a shit, man. Look at them. Alright, and that's the only point that, that, that I'm here for and why I'm here. You know, nine shots, it seemed a bit excessive. You guys couldn't take out his legs? Really? You guys couldn't have shot out his legs or something like that? Nine shots in the leg? Like, you know, maybe you guys need better training with your guns? Maybe something like this and that something needs to be done? You know, I'm not one of these people that says no guns, because certain situations, I know you guys need them. But fuck, guys. Come on, man. It may be two people that bring the bring them to us. the shooting range more. You know, make make something. Make, you know, change something. You know, that that's all I'm sure the family and the friends have asked. You know, we're very appreciative of everybody that came here today and showed support for Sammy and showed support for the cause as well. And uh, his cousin asked me to maybe say something to everybody and say something to you guys, and that's why I'm here. It's it's good to be a police. It's good to be a police. It's good to get paid and help us. You can get paid even maybe all our tax money, all the health care. Take it, but work with us and find the killer. We will pay you. You like money? You you want to do good? You want to be like the chief player one day? Then do the right thing. Find the killer. You will. You keep our words. You will become the next chief player. We will. Bring them peacefully down and make you, or you, or you, or one of you, the next chief player or the third world four one day. So do the right thing instead of standing here with these, with these little bikes getting paid some money. I know some of you guys are going to fight with me saying you make a lot, you are bad at but you could do better. If you want to be bad, we'll be bad. Yeah. Um, become the big fish, find the killer. That's what our police should do. Find the killer, find the criminal. I know the killer. The killer is wrong. It's two people that did it. The killer, they know who did it. They if you know who did, who did, it. did it and scare up us or scare up your friend because some of them are serious people, just speak to us. We will help you, protect you, save you, and get you more money. Why do we set up a personal fund, maybe totaling up to millions of dollars to find the killer and we will guarantee them a cheap job in the police? Why do we make them the president or the prime minister or the king of Toronto or Canada? Speak to the killer, bring him, stop standing around like this. This job is good, but you could do better. You guys like money? Stay out of drugs, okay? 
I don't, I'm 11 us, 20 year old, 2 year old, stay out of front, stay out of front, gun, stay out and make good money, do the right thing, find the killer and take them out of the street. You guys Hey. Hey, everybody. Yar. Killing. That's what the country is founded on, and it hasn't changed. When they killed over 100 million First Nations people, the country is founded on colonialism and racism, and it just continues today. It's got to stop. We're better than this. We are better than this. Maybe because they don't like a certain way. We can help you 
problem. You don't like black. You don't like German. You don't like the Jews. You don't like the Vietnamese. You don't like the Indians. Make it look you. Remove that evil from you. We are people. We are the same, same blood. Same thing. You might be smarter. You might be the best man. You might be the police. But we are people. You guys are just talking about it. And especially now, it's wrong for a man, not for a Okay, you want to go? You want to go back? You want to go to the You want to talk to somebody? How you doing? Keep up the good work. No justice, no peace. Fuck the police. We got a I can do 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 In fact, we got arrested in for that line six, line nine. I was one of them that got arrested.
come like you know, to the here the like, I see you. Hey, Binky! Binky! Are you, are you gay? Binky! You think I'm sexy? Uh -oh, uh oh, oh! yeah, look at you smiling! Uh oh, he's coming to talk to you. He thinks you're sexy. He wants you, Binky. He wants you. <laughs> he wants you, Binky. Oh, I know. I think he winked at you. And he blew your kiss. Keep staring, buddy, because it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> it's on me 365 all day, every day. Even leap years? Even leap years. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Hi, Solidarity. Uh, it's an interesting day here. Um, it's an interesting day here. Uh, I'm going to get into this conversation right here. It's bullshit. Hola, compañeros. Hola. Well, I, I just have um, a, a chat with the, uh, the officer in, in charge of this station, and uh, he's, he, oh, said, uh, he said he cannot reveal the identity of the officer because blah, it's, blah, blah, it's blah, part blah, of the SIU blah, investigation. Blah, blah. So you investigate. Yeah, yeah, they hide behind their secrety, secrecy so, shield. So you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. It might look cute that they're coming out here talking, but they're blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it goes through this ear, and it goes that ear. Oh, hey, oh, and hit, hit the other guy. And then they're going to blame you. <laughs> what if I have a friend? What if I have a friend inside? I can get information. Do I choose to? No, because I don't want to pay the thousand dollar fee. I could find out who did it, and I could go to their house, find out where they live, what car they drive. Get me on film, get me on tape, motherfucker. I have no fear. Of you guys. Look here. I have no fear of finding out where you live. We're videotaping up there. No fear. I do the bank with the You know, I got my head kicked in that. You know what? They quit harassing me. Because I could have brought my knife to the club. So I'm going to roll them to the sleep and then rush. I told me I have no fear. And that is posted videos of police brutality on my Facebook site. They're saying blah, 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 blah. Same old, same old. Yeah. Secrecy, secrecy. 
She's supposed to be here for us. Uh, for our safety. Somebody, how you doing? Oh, somebody's knocking down? Yeah, I could have wrote. Are they talking? Yar. No peace. Fuck the police. <laughs> Can you, like, seriously have some fucking money? Yeah, taser now. You could have just held him with a stick, man. Yeah, you could have closed the door. 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 We all know he's guilty because we said it. Shame! 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 Is fulfilling their mandate. Yeah, right. The SIU is about impunity for police. The Ontario Ombudsman released a report called Oversight Undermined. And this report found that systemically, uh, officers who fire shots and ex officers are rarely put to justice. And, he's, and he said that the police and the Ministry of the Attorney Generals and even the SIU will not even uh, give over files to the Ombudsman of Ontario. It's called Oversight Undermined. And that is very much the context when they tell you that the SIU is handling it. But that's okay, because in a couple of years, you'll tell us. Hi. Hi. This man's on a place in radio. Murderer! 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 Kill! 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 I don't know more! I don't know more. 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 Oh, you're not idols no more. <laughs> you're never idols. Yeah. Occupy! Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Okay. Uh, well, I'm to you, sir. Here, hold this for us. Can I take it? No, no. Why? Wait, fine, I'll take this one. Is this for the new one? Huh? Uh, is this in the news or what? Live stream to the world. Oh, what's that? Civilian, civilian media. Oh, what's that word? Yeah, it's so sad. Like, I know how to leave. We're live to the world. What's that? Live continent. <laughs> I know the how. Of the world? Yeah, I know how a police could kill a kid. <laughs> had a knife. I got to do the take him down. Take him down. Roll gun. This is your uh, Take Take him down first. To just take the kid and the back my back um, nine times, take you know, him, really make no sense. That is too much power. But, uh, you gotta get this. Look at what's right. happening all around. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, we never surrendered our land or our territory. And, uh, okay. you know, the one thing of it is is that, you know, Indian people have faced off police before. And uh, if you want to look at some of the things that have been happening, Look at the missing and murdered Native women that have been happening around. There was no justice for them. That's why we really need to make a stand against these, these police. Because they have no authority here on Indian land. Deserve fucking land. We're fucking doing it that we want. That's right. You, we'll fucking tell them what we want. Go we, get what you want. We won't fucking ask. We'll fucking demand it. Because it's our fucking land. And we'll fucking do it that we want. That's right. Don't so let the police push you around. They have no authority here on Indian land. I don't want to... I'm sorry to hear what happened to the brother on the streetcar. That's just a, another injustice that's happening here on our streets. But if we don't stand up and make do the right thing, these people are going to be able to take, take what we're going to do. That's why we got to stand up against them now. Let them know that they don't fucking work for us. We'll get near each other with your stuff back. We don't work for them, they work for us. Stop the police, man! Say Can I say something really quick? Um, guys, uh, okay, you think that the doubt that the native and missing murdered women happened on Vancouver, but it's actually happening here right now. In April, there was an indigenous woman named Tara Gardner who was murdered on the train tracks at Young and Summerhill. She was a homeless indigenous woman who was forced to testify by the police. If she didn't testify, she would go to jail. So she had to testify in a murder trial. She got two days in a hotel of five days of straight testimony because she didn't want to go to the jail. The police forced her to testify. While she was testifying, she was receiving death threats. And then she was hit by a freight train at Young and Summer Hill. And the police found that that death was unsuspicious when it points to the fact that the police did not protect this woman. The police extorted her to testify, and she died, and they won't. They'll just call another Native woman's death a suicide and not investigate. Shame! 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 And then, in the, in the past week, there was another Native woman who fell 35 floors down and they said it was a suicide. The, the police look at Native women's bodies as if they're disposable. They will not investigate the murder of Native women because it's just not, you know, what they do. They, they discriminate against all different communities, activists, uh, communities of color, the poor. And we can't hack it. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, I want to speak to all the people here. Let today be a historic one. Let today be the change. Because right now it's a technology time. We, we need to see this maybe on the CNN, BBC. The world has learned from this. We will not let this happen in Toronto because here is where many races live. Racism cannot happen right here. Maybe it can happen in another country. Maybe south of us, north of us, but not in Toronto. We will not let this happen. If Native feel like they got robbed and it's evidence, let's help them get what they want. If the young black got assessed by a white man, let's let us all help them because it's city of Toronto. It has many years to come. In Toronto, we cannot have killings, we cannot have racism, we cannot have all these things. Some of you might say, no, Toronto is not so racist, what are you talking about? Okay, in 1945, you guys saw Hitler, he killed the white people, he killed Jews, his neighbors. So, in Toronto, we have maybe trying a different race. Why not a brown man target a brown man? It happens in the country. Why not?
now the white man target a white man. Why now the police target a youth? Why not? And we will not watch these. Let today be a historic one. We will stand up for this. I got an idea. Why don't we people peacefully find them? Not a solution. Baby says Ruby Tuesday. You guys were singing it earlier. Yar. They just they're just playing stupid right now. The cops they pretend to listen to us, so it's just a fucking waste of time. We, we had to go to the police board on August the thirteenth. I sent a letter to the chief uh no not to the chief uh, to the chairman of the board and I asked him please Let's have, an, let's have a conversation about mental illness, people who are having shot because of, a, of a special needs, people with special needs. And it's part of the business plan. They have to, they had to go by the business plan, which is to deal with people with mental illnesses. Okay? So right now, these people, they don't have no power to make a difference at this moment, but we can. At the, at the board level, at the board level, we can make some changes. Am I just, am I just being repeating something else? But this is this is what I feel that we should do. On August the 13th.
sure when you guys leave tonight to do it in uh, partners or groups. Probably the best thing. Jogging off you're on your own, man. You guys heading out? Huh? No, no. There's no words at all. Are we going to the band office? <laughs> We're not done here yet, Sergeant. <laughs> We're not done here yet. We're just starting. <laughs> Good. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna take this fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> We want to do an honor song. So I, I just stopped. I just stopped. Like, what did she say? Right here, she said that she, said that she should kick me. And, and, I just, and, and for you, for your. But have you seen been on the fucking page in the sky up there? Those fuckers. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Well, I'm here for your friends. I know, and I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get Remove your hand. Silence, 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 please. Silence, please. Silence. Remove your hat.
So, another day goes by, and it's a long way to find the truth. More people. And Learn yeah. something new every day, folks. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Yeah. I appreciate the the part where the the two white shirt guys show up and talk to the crowd. I I think that was um kind of. Um, there's nothing out of the ordinary of this event. Mm. This points how the police have behaved in the past, how they're behaving now and minimizing it, and how they will continue to behave in the future. So if there are not more events like this to hold them to account. This is not an anomaly. This is not an exception to the rule, but this is the rule. This is called police brutality and police impunity. This is how the police have behaved in the past. It points to how they're behaving now and trying to minimize what they've done and what they stand for. But they stand behind that blue wall of silence. So that means even if there is a quote-unquote good cop, the good cop is in a brotherhood behind that blue wall of silence. And that brotherhood says, you do not uh, you do not testify. You do not hold your bad cop brethren to account or to justice. So uh, don't believe it for a second. It's true. That's true. What is that? Who do you protect? Who do you serve? Who do you protect? Who do you serve? Who do you protect? Who do you serve? 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 Who
That's right. But they forgot to add the one percent. Show them the tax for one percent only. <laughs> you record the whole thing. I guess these guys normally uh, uh, so the you can watch the protest. They don't like it. They don't like and it. And it's the only archive one that's worth doing. They don't like it when you see them. They don't like it when you see them. They don't like it when you see them. There's at least five continents watching. These people harass activists. They harass people. against their fellow cops. Uh, there's a Supreme Court uh, case right now for the death of uh, Levi Schaefer and Douglas Minty. Levi Schaefer and Douglas Minty were both killed by the police in a similar way. And now it's before the, uh, before the um, Supreme Court of Canada whether the police have the right to crib their notes and show their notes to each other before they actually write them. Whether they can have their lawyers actually advise them on how to best downplay the situation so they can have impunity. So that's in front of the Supreme Court right now. It's uh, uh, R.V. Schaefer and Minty. So, and that also was commented on by Andre Marin, the uh, Ombudsman of the Province of Ontario. His report is called Oversight Undermined. So when these white shirts over, to, over there tell you the SIU is dealing with it, this is a promoter of the police. This is a fake regulator. This is an active regulator. This is a regulator that will not investigate the police. This is a regulator whose job it is to rubber stamp them with impunity. Drug test for cops! <laughs> what? Person nine times, you should be in jail. He's on suspension with pay. Who gets paid for murdering a young baby? Nobody. Sammy, a team was the sweetest guy you'd ever meet. Was he not the sweetest guy? He was fucking sweet. Was he not the sweetest guy? Sweetheart. So why isn't the police officer, which I don't even want to refer to him as that because he did not protect and serve, he murdered. Okay. Exactly. Why isn't that officer behind bars? Exactly. I agree with you 100%. I agree 100%. Exactly. I agree 100%. Okay. Okay. I served up here to knock my teeth out a couple of years ago, and that is still on the force. Yeah, that's right. It's a, that's a superintendent right there in the white shirt. That's 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 the projects, it and they feel Wait, like they need to inflict remorse hey guys, guys, on people speak. that look like they're doing something wrong. One of their officers told me 
It's legal to carry a knife with you. It's legal. Pulled out his pocket knife and showed me. And it wasn't the size that Sammy had. It was a little bit bigger. Okay? So, how are you going to tell me that because he had a knife, he deserved to get shot nine times and tasered? There's there's no justification for that. Nine bullets. Nine bullets on the fucking Nine bullets. What, what, what and then he got tasered. They fucking did it to make it seem like, oh, he's not, you know, like we need to do our job, put the knife down, taser, okay? And then they had the audacity to you guys perform have, uh, CPR. I think to go in the shoot, shoot chest rank and shoot fucking how That's not right. It's not right. Sammy speaking. Can we please start? I knew Sammy. Sammy was the sweetest guy ever. Okay, I wasn't his best friend, which I really hoped I was. <laughs> okay? I wanted to be. Okay, I liked Sammy. I had a crush on Sammy, and I don't even get to tell him that because he's not here. Okay, Sammy was sweet enough to go visit my brother in the hospital because my brother got stabbed. Okay, I don't understand what possessed the officer to shoot him nine times is that right no is that right no it's shooting somebody okay not even not even the taser okay just nine times for shooting nine times you're you're trained as officers to, sh to know what to do they obviously need to study more they don't know how to shoot well enough guys let us speak please if you're speaking if you guys are trigger happy why don't you go to a shooting range Someone's Why don't you guys go do something productive? Why did you need to murder him? What? Why? What? I don't understand. Why Sammy? You know? Because if there's somebody that just came out of jail and he has his, you know, two by two on him, they don't fuck with that. They they arrest him and put him back in jail. So why the fuck would you guys kill Sammy? The officer that did this needs to be in jail. Yeah. And yes. Yes. Me, yes. not yes. rest until he's in fucking jail. What about the other cops? Oh, God. 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 Hey, listen here. I'm going to speak something, okay? Oh, <laughs> I've had my face beaten up by the police from 14 Division, and that which is standing right over there now blushing his mustache and that and that and he feels so confident that he's like he's, he's a super duper son of a bitch or something like that. people here that they think they're so cool and confident and everything like that i want to ask you something now i want to ask you right on the tv now right the dtc bus was open and that the back doors were open there was a police officer there with a gun and on the front, there was... Will you shut up, man? On the front, there was 20 police officers. And that, right? And on the back door, there was one police officer like that. No, you have, you have a point. You have a point. Why? Why? The, okay. It was empty. Who's he gonna harm? Hold on for a second. Can I he speak? Okay. He had twenty people, police officers. These five people that we got around here. Yeah, yeah, right. It's fucking fine. Yeah, they're fine. Like that guy. Oh, he moved away now. He's not brushing his teeth no more. And that was he beat that shit on me at 14 Division. And that. Okay. You know what? The back doors and the bus were open up. They were open right up. And there was one guy standing like this, if you check the 24 TV, like this with the gun. So why didn't that guy go in with the, the, the taser yeah, gun? And no, taser him. But no. Stop, 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 Let me show you. But why does this go? Boom, 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 boom. Because Serve and protect. Okay, another Who wants to hear another story? I want another story. Okay. How many weeks ago was it? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, like two weeks ago. Me and her had another friend. What happened, it was in our area, in Etobicoke. He killed his mother, aunt, and uncle. Okay? 20 cops.
cops found him by a river with a seven inch knife. He was running around and they did nothing. They did not try to shoot him. One of the cops actually went up to him and tried to talk to him. None of them tried to threaten him. No one tried to shoot him. Sammy had a three inch knife. He did not try to harm anyone. We're talking about 14 division, that's why. Exactly. He had a knife to protect him. Sammy had a life, Sammy had a life ahead of him. He, he ended high school, he passed all of his classes, and he wanted no, he to go to college. He didn't even get to graduate. He did not even get to graduate. He did. He didn't. That's what his uncle said. He didn't get to but graduate. he wanted to go to college. Okay? He was a brother, a son, a friend, and now he's gone. His whole life is gone. And it's because of this officer. There could have been much other things that could have been done. They could have even shot him in the leg. At least he would have survived, and we would have known that he was okay. Exactly. Yeah, like, throw the kid in jail. Come on, the best to do what you gotta do. But don't take his fucking life away. Why? Why didn't any of the other cops try to stop it? You could have saved his fucking life. Look at the video. If nobody has seen the video of Sammy getting shot, watch and tell me how many times the cops shot. He didn't shoot nine times straight, okay? He shot a couple times. Waited, shot another couple times, waited, and then shot another couple times. In those pauses, why the fuck didn't the other officers? Why didn't the other officers go? You know what? Maybe, maybe he's already injured, and maybe we can, you know, approach him. Don't worry and about it. The cops on vacation because he's under suspension with pay. Right? <laughs> what a job! He's like chilling right now. He's chilling. Any, any. I hope that officer. And I never ever want to wish bad on anybody, but I hope that that officer, if he has children, one day something happens, not that his child will die, because I will never wish death upon anybody, but I hope that officer has his son in the hospital or his daughter or whoever that is close to him and knows what it feels like to have someone that you love almost ready to die. I will not wish death upon anybody, but he needs to know how it feels. Because honestly, Sammy, a little baby, 18 year old, that's somebody's baby, that's his, that his mother, how do you think she feels right now? Shame on the, shame on the freaking police for not interfering and stopping it. Never mind, never mind that. Shame on any other cop that was there and didn't stop it. Shame. Yep, that's you got. Why was locking the doors not an option? Why was locking the doors not an option? Why was talking him down not an option? Why was tasering him not an option? Why was shoot to kill the only option? Why was locking the doors not an option? He was in prison already. He was in a street car prison. Common fucking sense. How many bullets does it take to kill a child? How many, how many bullets, bullets does it take to kill a child? No, 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 not even. How many, doors, no way. how many bullets does it take to kill? You don't need a bullet. Okay? A knife can kill. A gun can kill. Somebody's hands can kill. What possessed someone to shoot nine times and then taser? What the fuck was going to Suspended with pay. And the funny part is that asshole came joke. back out now. Where did you go? Shake your pants up there, buddy. Flick your nose again. The one that you beat me at 14 division. Oh, you're up there with your hands like this. When you had me in handcuffs and you broke my fucking nose and broke my teeth out. Come out and say something to me now, motherfucker. Come on. Come on. No, I'm pointing at you, you fucking asshole. Sammy's dead. 
Idiot. No, he's talking now. They're going to arrest me when I go around the corner, right? Arrest me, you fucking goof. Come down. Hey, hey, I'll slick your lips for you too, you fucking goof when you cut my teeth out. <laughs> you piece of shit. I remember you, buddy. I fucking remember you. I remember you, you fucking cap too, you fucking goof. You fucking piece of shit. Did no one seriously think that's one of the doors? Nobody? Not one of those cops that was there. No, no, no. Lock the doors. Let's lock them in. No, no, no. Okay. What happened? You guys are standing, and I feel no, guys. Listen, listen, listen. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad because all these cops are here. I don't know which ones were there, and which ones were But I know that a couple of them here right now feel like shit, and I feel bad for them because we're gonna be shot for that. I feel like something. I think that that cop said that this Sammy should be here. Okay? Because these cops have to sit here and you listen to us when they weren't the ones that did it. I like think that that fucking other stupid motherfucker, okay? Okay? I don't tell you guys you guys... No, no, no. no, no, no. I mean, yeah. the one that shot Sammy... I'm not going to do anything, but I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I just gave you the best suggestion ever. Okay? When you have time by yourself... Are you going to open? Okay? 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 And his name is Secret. A secret cop. No, but the message is not allowed to know it's people. The message the message here is remember, you see a cop interacting with any civilian, with any person, take off your camera. The camera will see. Exactly. Oh, no, but that's the only thing. Because you will never get the truth from them. You see a police interacting with civilian. Take off your cameras. Do not do not don't don't interrupt them. Don't do anything. But you what all you can do. A police interact with civilian. Stand aside. And film it. That, that's the only way the truth will come out. That's all you need to do. Take out your camera. Hey! If Sammy's death wasn't on camera and on video, right. do you guys think that we'd be here right no. now? No. 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 Why? Why? Because they would have made up some bullshit. Like, oh, we tried to attack all this. And the reason why we're here is because somebody caught it on video. So thank you to him. Listen, next time, pull out your camera. Even better, live stream it live. What about the CTC video? The CTC video will never be released. Why we want it released? Ask the cop's name that's suspended. They won't give it. Any CTC video will not be released. Why? Because Sammy is showing who fucking did it. That's why. And I'm fucked all the windows, eh? You'll defend him. You guys will defend him saying that was the right way. All the windows are all glass down there. Uh, when you walk down that uh, street, you can bust all the windows. Bust all the windows. You see, you have lots of money to replace them all. Definitely need better training. For somebody that's supposed to Oh, yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, folks. Uh, 
Happiness is winding down. We've been at this for four hours and 15 minutes. Oh, must have walked uh, 10 kilometers. I don't know. I am pretty wiped carrying this laptop. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. We're going to stay on this story. And I know I've been saying on the Facebook Lens page, because I have eyewitness accounts, and I have a timeline for exactly what happened in the last 10 minutes. Like, I mean, exactly. Everything but the officer's name. Young rookie officer. Eyewitnesses said, you look in that officer's eyes, this guy was hopped up on some hoodoo hoodoo drug. Uh, these officers are working in who knows what. Um, and uh, But the officer that did the killing, we don't know the name. But they were certainly hopped up on something, uh, that one officer, that, um, Yar, Jivan. I've been working hard. And, uh, stealing from the yeah, I'm pretty wiped. I was up all night doing a lot of, uh, paperwork. But, um, the comments. I don't want to give you just a bullet of exactly the last 10 minutes, what happened from when it all started to how he died. Uh, we will have eyewitness accounts. We will post it on the Sammy Fight Back uh, Facebook page and the events page for today. Uh, now, if Cool Roy is on, maybe Cool Roy, uh, you want to do something? Um, I know we got some killer stuff coming up uh, uh, on the offline content reel, but for now, I am wiped. I'm going to give you a final view of you know, there's maybe 50 people left out of uh, I would say I would say uh, I'm pretty good at guesstimating numbers of crowds. It's, it's a union activist and a filmmaker. <laughs> I would say we peaked today at close to four or five thousand people, at least four thousand uh, in, in the heyday. So, uh, you're my guardian. I gotta go find my hat. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, so, Japan. <laughs> Bonjour, mon ami. Yeah, well, I hope you caught me live when I shouted like that. That. Did you hear what I just said? What? I shouted out loud. Yeah. I'll be right back. The creator. That's where Sammy is. Because of this, he's there. Okay, folks, so um, thank you for tuning in. And this will be instantly archived. And notice there'll be uh, at least three files because the signal was jammed twice. Did I not say how many times? My signal's been jammed by the Toronto Police, the Ottawa Police, RCMP, uh, Montreal Police, uh, Toronto Police especially. I said, stranger fact is always stranger than fiction. You'd think they'd be worried about, uh, you know, PR and good image and this and that. And they come in here twice jammed. Once by that one stooge and once by that other undercover uh, woman. Um, and uh, it's happened so many times, it, it, and it happened so quick as well. Um, so I told you it might happen, and it did. Uh, this is the type of police division we have. They do not care. Main, they own mainstream media. You know the, these cops are funded so much by the private sector they're doing time and a half extra shifts you know this officer that shot nine bullets into an 18 year old with a three inch knife you know was witnesses say you look into that officer's eyes he was a rookie he looked like a rookie really really young quote unquote a rookie um, and his eyes that officer, like, he was hopped up on some hoodoo voodoo drug. And it is a well-established fact that police officers love cocaine more than anything. That's just a rumor. Um, and, uh, you know, who knows what that officer was thinking. Uh, what's, I hate to put it in these words, a scrawny 18-year-old. Posed no threat with a three-inch knife. 
the streetcar was empty. The back doors were open. The front doors were open. Um, they could have tasered him. They could have done whatever. Uh, what, like, it was totally uncalled. But when you have officers popped up on so many fucking drugs because they're doing so many shifts, they're making six figures, corruption is rampant, you know, they're so full of themselves, and that's the, what we're turning out. And and it's it. my first thought when I heard about this and I saw the video, I said, we're importing American-style policing. This is not typical for Canada, but we have now imported American style. Uh, but I tell you, this has touched a nerve in Toronto. This has totally hit a nerve, and Toronto's not going to let this one go. Uh, we want that officer in jail, and officially, that officer is suspended with pay, with pay, and he's probably whisked out of town somewhere. He's probably on some beach somewhere, sipping margaritas, who knows what, hopped up on his drugs. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but uh, I love being a filmmaker, uh, to be precise. I'm an anthropological documentary filmmaker, and I've been live streaming a state-of-the-art filmmaking for 11 years, and I love this. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, Toronto is Toronto, or is the GTA the GTA? Uh, Toronto is Toronto, Metropolitan Toronto. The GTA is the greater Toronto area. So it's all the neighboring uh, cities that touch the borders of Metropolitan Toronto, is known as the greater Toronto area. That was a question there by Around from the live chat. Okay, folks, so uh, stay tuned for more coverage of this. Uh, we're not going to let this one go. So what can I say? I'm just signing off. I'm just signing off. And uh, yar and yar. And uh, you want to say bye? See y'all. This is Devine. Come check out my show this Thursday. Where we'll, we'll have a lot of stuff to talk about. And it's my birthday on Wednesday, so I'll be 39. Wednesday, remember that, Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, hey, Captain. What? Okay. Can you, can you do a favor for me? Have you signed off yet? I'm just about to. Could All you right. tell Gary the story about what happened in Occupy Chicago? <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Okay, uh, I'm going to sign off. Hold on.